Do you know the difference between an environmental impact assessment and an environmental audit? What's the difference between the two? And that is what I want us to look at so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify the differences or the similarities between an environmental impact assessment and an environmental audit. environmental impact assessment. Now, as the name suggests, an environmental impact assessment is an assessment to identify the impacts of a proposed project. What does that mean? It means once a project is coming or there's a proposed project, eh? somebody wants to do a project, to come up with a project, maybe it's a building, maybe it's a dam, whichever the project they want to, to start. It means the moment that project is implemented or is now operational, the environment will obviously have to change. Okay? For example, if they did, say, a 15-story building, it means the people who are going to occupy that building will require water. There is going to be wastewater production from the same building that was not there initially before the project was, was done. So now an impact assessment is to identify the impacts of that project that is yet to be implemented. So an impact assessment is done before a project is done. That is one thing that we can see very clearly here. And it is meant to identify the impacts that are going to, to, to come after the project has been implemented. As you're constructing, what are the impacts that could affect the environment? And remember, the environment, for me, I define all, for, for me, the, to me, the environment is um, the profits the people are going to get, the people themselves, the health of the people, the safety of the people, the well-being of the people. And the other thing is the, the planet, how are you impacting the planet, the water resources that are there, the air quality, the trees that are there. So look them all round like when you're looking at impacts identify them in economic the economic impacts that are going to be there and remember we're looking at both positive and negative impacts also look at the impacts the social economic impacts of the people will people be displaced me displacing people means that is an economic displacement within the families all right also look at the planet like i said so these are the three main areas that are really in the impact of these projects have we ways if they can we be able to reduce the impact if we can be able to, to reduce the impact can we be able to live with the impact that is costly that is going to be to be as a result of the project so you weigh the two of them the both positive impacts and the negative impacts the negative impacts can we be able to mitigate them and then finally now we take the report you do a report of all those analysis and take it to NEMA and now NEMA will review and see if the project is worth a license or should have further assessments and the another process begins again or the next step is taken now that is an environmental impact assessment what is an environmental audit an environmental audit is then one of these tools that is used to check the compliance, the conformity of the project to the, to the conditions that we are set, to the mitigation measures that we are set during an impact assessment report. All right? So which we see, we want to see how well is this project complying to the conditions that we are set. For example, we talked about 15 uh, story building and we talked of the waste water that is going to be produced from there. And most probably there's a condition that was given on that. Then an audit is supposed to check uh, this uh, is the proponent of the client implementing the condition they were given by the authority. The negative impacts that were predicted before the project became operational, are they being implemented are they being uh, taken into consideration as now the project is operating so now we can see that an audit is done when the project is already in operation all right another thing may be the difference between the two that you need to note is that an ei is a one-time a one-time process 
it's done before the project is done. An audit is a continuous process. It could be an annual audit. You could do it by annual, depending on the, the category of the project. Is it high risk, medium risk, or low risk? All right. So now this one is, it is continuous. So you continue improving every now and then. And so personally, personally, my personal views as an expert, I think it is very, very, very important and critical to follow up on the audit. I think the audit will give your business more value as compared to an EIA. An EIA is very important, of course, because it is supposed to check the condition of the environment before the project is implemented. But now it is the audit that makes sure the environment is protected as the project is ongoing. So I really insist on environmental audits because then you can even be able to identify a, an impact or an effect that is now uh, has come as a result of the project. The impact assessment. So an audit is what I really insist and think as a business person, you really need to make sure you have frequent audits to have somebody check on your operations and see if you're conforming to the environmental uh, conditions, laws and regulation. And of course, now this is one tool that is going to make your business sustainable, environmental sustainable. And this is what I want us to do as business people. Let's shift our way of business to being more eco-friendly. So that's the difference between an environmental impact assessment and an environmental audit. The similarity is that both are done by certified environmental experts. People like me who are licensed to do these jobs. So make sure to, to find an expert, especially for annual audits, depending on the sector of your business. Make sure to at least uh, invite one, especially the first one, so that we can come and see and set out uh, the way to do all we are going to guide you on how to continue with your business and then with time as you become compliant if you're compliant then with time you can start having your own self audits done by your staff or your environmental department but now initially as you're beginning you must it must be done by an environmental expert after you are now compliant and they feel you are okay and you can be able to do your self audit then you can do it maybe by annually or even annually, but once in a while, you must let the expert do the job. So I hope now you understand and I'll see you in the next video. But till then, make sure to keep safe, to build businesses that are profitable and sustainable. Till then, bye-bye.